Fountain of Life A collection of live recorded sermons from His Grace Bishop Emilianos Maloa aiming to make us fountains of the Holy Spirit. Here is today's message. Today our church celebrates the memory of St. Gregory Palamas, Archbishop of Thessaloniki, And we heard his life, which we read a few minutes ago. So you know know what happened in his life. I just wanted to say two or three things regarding his life. So his father was very close to the emperor. He was sort of an advisor for the emperor. But he was a man of prayer. So he used to pray all the time and he used to focus on prayer so much and go so deep that once the emperor was calling him and he couldn't understand it because he was focused on prayer. That's how he was. And St. Gregory's mother, he wanted to become a nun, but he delayed it because he want, she, wanted, she wanted to take care of her children's education first. Now, what I'm trying to tell you is that our example is what teaches our children and not our forceful words. So the example of St. Gregory Palamas, mother and father, is what made him to follow their example, is what, it's, it's what made him a great saint. And not that he was pushed to go close to the church or was pushed to do the right thing. So keep this in mind because everybody has children and it's very useful. Now, I will tell you something different. We heard in the gospel about the paralytic today. He was carried by his friends and his friends went through a lot of trouble because he was unable to walk and they went through the crowd. They couldn't get him through the door to put him in front of Christ to be cured. So they had to climb on the roof of the house. They had to destroy a part of the roof and get him in the house through the roof. And then they had to face all these people that they were looking at them in a curious way, in a judgmental way. But they didn't care. They just wanted to help their friend. And this is what it is to have friends that they will help you physically but also spiritually. And now I wanted to say two things here. The first is, do we have such friends? And if not, that's what sort of friends we need. People that they will help us when we're unable to help ourselves. People that they will push us spiritually when we're unable to do so. And they will get us close to Christ. And then the other thing that I wanted to tell you, or maybe ask you, is, are we such people for others? Do we care for the others spiritually? And do we carry them on our backs when they can't carry themselves? If not, then we have to reconsider our actions because our life is short. And going back to the first thing we said, this is how St. Gregory's parents were. They were carrying their children close to Christ with their example and their prayers, which leads me to the third point. Now, they were saying that St. Gregory Palamas was as wise And he had the gift of talking like Aristotle. They were calling him Second Aristotle. Although he was such an amazing person, he did not start preaching and trying to convince people to go close to Christ when he was in Constantinople in the palace and when he was famous. Instead, he gave up everything. He became a monastic and... He was silent for years and years to come. He was not trying to convince anyone for anything. He was not trying, he was not trying to run any missions. He was not trying to bring people closer to the church. 
He was just trying to bring his soul close to his Creator. And as soon as he did this, as soon as he, re as soon as he reached the um, grace of God, then again, he did not try to do anything. But he had a vision from God telling him that he had to. So the vision was something like a big vase that milk was pouring out in a spiritual way and this milk became wine and the meaning that he got from God straight from God was that his wisdom should not keep for himself but share it with others and that's when he started his let's call it mission in the church not before that so what I'm trying to tell to tell you is that if we are wise and if we are capable of convincing others to do the right thing, maybe we should think twice before doing so. And maybe follow the example of St. Gregory that he did not do so, although he could. But he gave himself to God, and then God used him in the way that God wanted. And then he became one of the greatest saints our church ever had. And then he became what God wanted him to be, not only for himself, but also for the others. And he became like the one, the ones that they were carrying the paralytic in front of God, in front of Christ. So let's not try to convince others for anything, but let's try to be a good example and let's pray. And if it is for us to do something in the church, and if it is for us to help someone, God will find ways to do this through us. Thank you.